okay? Get ready for a change. But I promise it's going to come back. Yeah. So currently, as you can see, I'm shaved. I'm doing Movember with everyone here. So we're starting from nothing and going forth from there. But good news is it's ready. It's cutting and I'm happy. As you can see right here are the first tests. So we've got some depth maps here. We've got some depth maps there, cutting acrylic, cutting 15 millimeter wood. This is, has epoxy in it, so it's really burnt. Cutting some rubber here. This is some sticky back stuff here. And then there's this really cool wood that's paper on the back. But yes, basically, Betty is running and is working. God, was it a pain and a half after we had the guy here from Austria who is the application guy. And, oh man, it, it really, it was a real pain. For three days, it, it was working and then it wasn't working. And in a nutshell, the brand new driver wasn't working properly because it had a giant bug in it. It's like, it would only work with standard cuts, yet if you ever tried to do a relief cut, it would work once, but then it would never work again. Um, currently, we've gone from the print driver of Trotec from 1.10 point, oh, I can't remember, 1.6.10 to 1.6.1, .1, and that sorts out everything. I found a mini bug, which is in the relief cuts, if you go down from less than 500 dpi resolution then it no longer sees the cut lines but oh well it works fundamentally it works so i can start making stuff i can't wait to start making stuff i've already started doing the design for this weird sofa table bed design so it's a three-in-one furniture because i have a very small flat as you've seen and i'm going to sort that out to get that sorted Apart from that, I also have a bedside table that I'm planning on making. I've also got to make some storage bits in it. Storage bits for my cutlery drawer, because currently I've just got it all out. Um, thing, other funny things was the computer that came with the laser, it was an i3 with 4 gigs of RAM. It could hardly run Windows 10, never mind trying to calculate a massive print area basically for the laser cutter so we're now using a laptop that my brother had spare so we're using that currently we're probably going to upgrade it at some point but for now we can get going with that um what else the compressors here that was funny story too basically we got told to wire it in wrong and then we wired it in right and now it's working like a charm and then just before we did the laser induction I did a quick lens check and there was actually water inside of the system because of the old compressor but thankfully it was just the lens and not all the mirrors inside the machine because that would have made it hell and apart from that I'm just happy I'm so happy that I get to start cutting now so one of the first projects I've got right this minute is I've just gone and bought a really cheap bamboo chopping board I'm going to design something I don't know what yet, I'm going to engrave it on and I'll stick it at the end of this video for you guys to see. And as you saw at the start of this video, I've already engraved the Maker Tail logo because I had to, I had to. Anyway, from here, there's going to be hopefully less updates and more projects and I'm going to really get going on this. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I hope you really enjoy this little journey that I'm going on. And let the quest continue.